Hi everyone. Thank you for joining me. I can talk to you while I work. I have actually two orchids on the agenda today that need to get looked at. One is, well, this one is the Lobata cerula, hopefully one day. And um, it's been in the setup of self-watering with LECA for the last almost three years. The other one is the Iricolor, but depending on what I find in here, will determine whether I'll put the Iricolor on in this video or just do a separate video. The weather is a little bit deteriorating, but I'm on a kind of a schedule regarding cleaning up my orchids. Oh, this is gonna feel really good. I, I think it's gonna be okay. I'm on a schedule regarding cleaning up my orchids. And if we are expecting another bad weather front coming in, then that thing gets all pushed back, as you can imagine. It's best to address orchids when new roots grow. And I have my Lobata actively growing new roots. And I don't want to wait. So I want to clean this up, take you along for the ride. Appreciate the fact that you are watching or listening. I'm expecting just a classic, normal self-watering repot. I've had this orchid soaking for an hour in calcium and magnesium and some seaweed, 40 parts per million of seaweed and 60 of CalMag. Just to loosen up whatever is growing around the edges, which is a lot. Let's see if I can do this and show you. There we go, these roots here, just to loosen them off the side of the pot. They're looking great. I'm very hopeful about this orchid then. I don't want to put her in a bigger pot. I may need to. Depending on how I can maneuver the roots. If you're stuck on a microfiber, then I would rather pull the microfiber out along with the orchid. Or are you still stuck at the bottom? It's still stuck at the bottom. Well, well, well. Very slow grower is this Lobata, but it's doing well. That's all, that's, that's all I'm asking. Just continue to do well, and I'll do my best to do well for you. Right. That was a little bit of fern roots right there. What have we got? Not too shabby, I would say. Not too shabby. I could have left her in here another year, but the not knowing is the part that made me take action. New roots growing, new growing season starting. And if I don't know what's going on in the pot, then after maximum three years, I go in and intervene no matter what the state of the roots could be, whether it's doing well, whether it still has space, just to check the health of the climate and environment in the pot. Clearly I've lost some roots, but that is normal. Some orchids will dump their roots on a regular basis and some, as they transition, will lose the roots in the new climate of LECA and self-watering. I am not concerned at all by what I am seeing here. On the contrary, I am very, very encouraged. Yeah, this is good, I'm glad. I think I can fit her back into the pot, but I will give the pot a good cleanup, rinse it out, Looks to be a straightforward job, which is great. Which means that I can get on with my Iricolor. There we go. Give that a good rinse off. Just at the base. Just to make sure that there's nothing in there that doesn't need to be. If I'm going to clean up, I'm going to clean up. And that includes the rhizome. This is great. Oh, I'm very pleased because I can get on with the Iricolor as well. 
I'm hoping for similar outcome on the Iricolor. Another slow grower today, addressing the slow ones in the pot. Yep, that's perfect. And then we'll just pot her up and move on to the Iricolor. Clean pot, all good. Okay, so here's an adjustment I am going to make for this one. I got her as a seedling. And that being said, more water retention, higher humidity and all that for seedlings. But she is progressing into a juvenile, which based on her roots, you can see they are getting much more structured and her new growth from last year as well much bigger. So I got her when she was, when it was these three bulbs in the back, hence a seedling. I grew this one in my first year with her, still a seedling bulb. This now is for me what I classify a juvenile, definitely not flowering size. I think we have two or three more growths to go for that is the case but we have graduated into the next phase and she fits snug into that pot that she was in because of the way her roots have grown but what i'm going to do now that she has reached this stage is prepare a support for the next growth in case my light training doesn't work then i have something i can back her up with to help get the growth to grow a little bit more straight. It's just something to help me. It's not there that I think I need it, seeing how beautifully those growths are doing on their own. But as she is now at a different stage of her development, I'm putting a support in. Oh, that was close. And now, to help me out with getting Lekka underneath that loop while I put the orchid in without putting Lekka in first, I'm keeping my calcium magnesium solution in the mask. So what I'm going to do is make it a full length loop into the reservoir, not worry about Lekka underneath. And the reason being change of plans, it doesn't really matter the way the roots are settling inside the pot. Lekka will surround them anyway. That's the observation I'm getting out of this one. And another thing I'm going to do based on the stage of this orchid's development is go from small seedling Lekka to larger Lekka. You can see that some Lekka was quite large the last time, which I then switched out the surface with just small Lekka. But now I can just go full on large because I'm going to treat this one now as a juvenile and not a seedling. So welcome to the big league, almost big league. Make sure that she's settled exactly how she was before. The only thing I want to adapt with small Lekka in the back here is cover this root because it was covered before, seeing how white it is. Very pale, it was not on the surface and it should go down. The root tip is already curving down. Just keep that root out of the wind and dry air. Make sure that it doesn't fail. And that would be it for the Lobata. Now let's move on to the Iricolor. That'll give me a head start for the coming weeks. Here we are, Iricolor. Now, I'm expecting similar results out of this one. Same, so, same story as the Lobata. It was a seedling. It has grown two new growths in my care. And it's now growing roots. That's why I wanted to address these two straight away. There it is. Iricolor is an extremely slow grower. I got some ferns growing in there. This could be 
a little bit more of a lengthy repot if I can get the roots out of that fern. That would be great. I'm glad that the pot doesn't feel rock hard. And I'm going to take a lega bead away to stop the abrasion against the root tip. Let's see if she will just come out easily. Also soaked with CalMag. Nope, not coming out easily. But not as happy a camper from what I can see in the root front in the pot, just at first glance. I don't see a lot of joy in here. There are no roots coming out the bottom of the pot. There is a new growth starting. All this is good stuff for the beginning of the season. I love the timing. And that's why I'm going in at this point in time as well. There's too much other stuff going on in this pot. These roots don't have the same density arrangement in the pot because of this fern. The roots of the ferns are so fine, they fill in all the oxygen gaps. If the roots of the orchid doesn't do it, then the fern will take care of that space. And that bothers me. As pretty as they look, it's not such a good idea long term. And yes, I do keep taking off the um, leaves and I try to manipulate them that way. But still, let's see if we can get in there. There are roots at the side of the pot. This one's loose. This one's okay. Where are the stubborn ones? That's okay. Down there, we got one out. What are we having here at this side? And I can change the support on this one as well. Give it a proper one. One more deserving of this orchid. Estimated bloom, huh, 2024, maybe, if we're lucky. Come on, you know you want to. Promise to make your pot nicer, shinier, and tidier. I promise, I promise. Where are you holding on? The microfiber. Okay, so you see that it's high noon for the Iricolor to get a good cleanup in that pot. So we've had some really good roots that have failed. Once again, I'm not concerned about the setup. I am not worried that it's that. I'm saying that the orchid is probably of the kind that dumps its roots and rejuvenates every year or every second year. Remains to be seen, but that is why even though the orchid looks to have enough room in the pot for another two or three years, it is this kind of an example that makes me stop and take care of my orchids in a cycle of minimum two years maximum three and there's a great root that grow straight through the microfiber so i'm going to cancel out that microfiber and save the root that's the plan so there's that one and that's gone right now it's just a matter of cleaning up that root ball getting all the old and dead roots out. Get her all nice and cleaned up. I feel good about this one. I'm glad I got around to it at this time and not in another two weeks. So it's a good thing we left this one for last. Otherwise, by now, I would say this is going to be a separate video, but I'm just going to go about my business of cleaning her up, and I'll be back when she's all nice and tidy.
Well, 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 it's not so bad. A different kind of root system. This is a very strong, firm root system. It feels like twigs, but with a little bit of a give to them. But very dry. They're not firm, fleshy, if that makes sense. So what looks to be, let's say, dead, like, oh, where are you? Maybe I took it off, but no, here. This looks to be deteriorating, and I would normally take it off, but it's super firm. I've cut into the end of one that looked to be deteriorating, and it's absolutely fine if I can find it. This one right here. I don't know if that's visible on camera, but it's fine. So it would fit into its previous pot, but look at the size of the roots coming now. There's also a bump up in size. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing this new growth come out. This was the growth of 2020. It took 12 months to develop and continued growing throughout winter. And now we're back to another one down here. But look, the roots are coming out a little bit more solid. And here, the previous year's growth is also starting on more roots. In anticipation of all those roots coming and growing and hopefully being happy, I'm going to bump it up into a bigger pot because again, I am contemplating two to three years. If I keep repeating myself about these things, it's just that sometimes people prefer to look at one orchid as opposed to another. That's why I put timestamps, but then I just repeat it for the next one as well. If I were to make separate videos out of these, instead of orchid potpourri, same thing. I just repeat, repeat. There are certain orchids on the market that are very, very interesting to many, many growers. And especially with a self-watering Lekka system, I like to be a little bit more conscious of what I say. And I try to do that with every repot. I do have reference videos for my major repots with reasonings behind why I do what I do, when and how, but certain nuggets of information need to be repeated on a regular basis. And I hope that everybody that's been watching my videos, thank you so much, so faithfully in the past, can understand why I do repeat what I say quite often when it comes to these repots, Lekka self-watering. Everybody that is new here, I appreciate you as well so very much. Thank you. Leave me a comment, please. I try to keep a list of everybody that I see new so that I can keep a running record with regards to my Blooms For You series. I also go into the subscriber lists and check those for any new names. I try not to miss anybody, but if you don't comment, then I don't know that you're here. So that would work great if you just, if you're new, please leave me a comment, just hi, whatever, a question, an emoji, whatever. Let me know you're here. I would really appreciate that. Okay, same thing here. It had a nasty, ugly steak before. It's graduating into a nice, proper white one. And the same thing as well with the root ball because it is already so substantial, I'm not going to do a loop underneath. I have enough going on here in the pot. The orchid will be very, very well hydrated. Direction of growth is obvious. She is growing only in one direction at this point in time, so I can push her back. And then we're just going to fill her up. Gosh, I feel so good having done this. This is fantastic. Turned out to be a good day. This was the root I mentioned. It looks dead, but there's nothing wrong with it. So let's get her in. Let's fill her up. And let the next 12 months of A growth begin. <laughs> I'm just going to leave her a little bit lower in the pot for the time being as I fill up and hopefully not drop any lacquer. 
I have a puppy at my feet that would like nothing more than to run off with a piece of lacquer in his mouth. Uh, no. In this case, I'm also using larger lacquer. Oh, I don't like lacquer on my root tips like that. Oh, got to be careful. I'm also using larger lacquer because she is clearly graduating into a different size of root. So, got to be really careful. I don't mind lacquer on the roots, but what I don't want is having the root tips constantly being abrased. Whoa, sorry, you didn't see that. I don't mind lacquer, obviously, on the roots, but root tips, the abrasion, no thank you. What I'm trying to do now is shake her and lift her up to get her in the right position in the pot and the right height. Okay, quick burying of that root tip. Fingers crossed. And here they are. Oh my goodness, this was a good day. I'm really, really pleased. So glad to get these done right on time. One is supported and tied, one isn't. This one doesn't need to be supported and tied because all the root tips are already inside the top layer of the media. This one, there's still a root tip working its way down. So I'm just gonna keep it a little bit more supported with wiring it up. Eventually that can come off. And now, hey, hey, my two slow pokes in the Catley Alliance, they are all cleaned up and ready to go. Very, very happy. And I really appreciate that you stuck with me through this video. Appreciate your company as always, the time you take to watch. Thank you so much. And when you leave comments, I love it. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Have yourselves a wonderful day, please. And stay safe. Take care, bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.